What is up everybody? Derp Fertler here. Hope you're doing awesome today. Welcome to another YouTube video. Um, I finally have played every single song from the brand new Max Altitude setlist for Clone Hero that came out a little bit ago now. Uh, and I've figured out my top 10 favorite songs. So without further ado, let's get down to it, shall we? At number 10, we've got Little Sister by Queens of the Stone Age, and it was charted by Entombment. Uh, this is the only song in this entire set list to have the Max Altitude Highway, which is fun to point out and is rather interesting. I thought it looked pretty decent. I would never want to use it. I like a solid black highway, but it looked pretty nice. Uh, anyway, it's my favorite Queens of the Stone Age song. I had to include it on the list. Uh, it's a really fun chart. Uh, this song was originally uh, Rock Band 1 DLC as well. Uh, but, you know, that chart's a little outdated these days, so it's nice to have a brand new one to play, and uh, it's just really good. It's it's such a jam. I love this song. Uh, so, Little Sister by Queens of the Stone Age is our number 10 pick. Given At number 9 on our list, we've got Looking Up by Paramore. Torx charted this one. Uh, Torx was the main person behind uh, Max Altitude, so a lot of charts from from them. Uh, it's a really, really good one. I had not heard this Paramore song before. Uh, it's really, really good. It's really positive and, like, upbeat and stuff. Uh, the whole reason the song was written was because of, like, their sudden success back in, like, the mid to late 2000s with, like, Misery Business blowing up and all that stuff. And it was basically a, a song that they wrote to uh, kind of, you know, express their positivity about where they're at as a band and, and their future going forward. And, and it's just an upbeat, awesome song. Uh, and it's really, really worth checking out. Really fun chart. Um, it's a Paramore song, so don't expect, like, you know, crazy craziness or anything in the chart. But it's fun to play. It's just fun to vibe to it and stuff and puts you in a good mood. So, Looking Up by Paramore is number nine. At number eight on our list, we've got Ain't No Rest for the Wicked by Cage the Elephant. This is another Torx chart. And holy crap, it's... Uh, I am really, really glad that we have a chart for this song, a good one, like a good modern one. Uh, I think before all I had was like a less than stellar C3 chart of this, uh, and it was really, really fun to play. It's 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 an odd sounding guitar track because it's like with on like a slide guitar type of thing. That's what it sounds like to me, uh, and it was really, really well done with all the hopo chords and the tap notes sprinkled in. It was quite a fun experience to play this one, and it's I've loved this song for how many years now so ain't no rest for the wicked by cage the elephant is our number eight pick you'll be playing this song till they close our eyes for good i'm sorry at number seven on our list we've got war again by oingo boingo carrot charted this one and when you think oingo boingo you probably think like 80s new wave type of stuff like this is totally different. Like, this does not... Like, this is such a non-Oingo Boingo song, but it's by them. It's called War Again. It's like a grungy song. Grungy alternative song. And uh, I just love this one so much. It was instant Spotify material for me. It just really stood out to me. This one did. So, please check it out. Uh, what else did I write about it? I just, put, I just put that it sounded nothing like Oingo Boingo, and I was vibing to the grunginess. I love, like grungy music and uh, yeah that was really good so oingo boingo war again definitely play that one at number six on our list we've got cold company by minus the bear and two mint charted this one and uh, i've known about this song for quite a long time because it is a song included in rocksmith 2014 uh this song is really hard on real guitar uh it's got a lot of weird tappy stuff that i don't understand <laughs> despite having played guitar for a decade now but it's a pretty complex song it sounds really good though i love i love how it sounds uh the guitar part is really really cool and it's a bop of a tune you're gonna love it when you hear this if you haven't heard it before uh you're gonna think it's spotify material for sure gets the derp seal of approval uh and minus the bear is a good underrated band not gonna lie uh definitely check out cold company it's 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 a definite highlight from this pack my 
At number five on our list, we've got a kind of silly yet cool sounding song called The Dog Song by Moron Police. This is another carrot chart. Um, I like the vocals of it. I love the harmonies and the chorus. It just was really pleasing to me uh, to, uh, to listen to. Um, and I'm glad that, you know, there's a song out there for, for dogs. You know what I mean? If dogs could... I almost said if dogs could hear, like they can, they can hear stuff. If they could understand music, maybe they can. I don't, I've never been a dog. Maybe they do. All I'm saying is that it's nice that dogs can be represented by this song. It's quite a tune. You're going to love it. You're going to love how it sounds, and then you're going to listen to the lyrics and be like, oh, okay. <laughs> so that's number five of the dog song. At number four on our list, we've got a big old bop called Dopamine by Ann Arbor. All right, and Tuman charted this one. And this is this song has the perfect title because you're going to be feeling a lot of dopamine when you play it. All right, it's a really catchy bop. It's just so good. Please play this one. It's really upbeat and fun and just, oh, just love it. Dopamine by Ann Arbor. Need a dopamine rush? This is the, the that's the one. There you go. At number three on our list, we've got another dopamine rush by the name of Anna by Refractions. Torx charted this one. Uh, this song sounds like, imagine Polyphia, but with like really smooth, like smooth vocals, like smooth, like poppy vocals almost. It's hard to describe, but uh, it, this one, this one, this was the first song I played when I was like going through all the songs uh, to come up with my top 10. I, I played each song once. Um, at least once. Uh, when I got to this one, I was just like, oh, I know this is going to be in my top 10. <laughs> like, this is one of my... Because I played in alphabetical, so Anna was like, you know, one of the first songs I played. And I remember hearing this one and thinking, this has got to be in my top 10. It's so catchy and good and just out of left field and never heard it before. So, yeah. Anyway, Anna by Refractions. Please go play that one. <laughs> At number two on our list, we've got uh, New Machines by Vinyl Theater, and Tuma charted this one. Uh, one overlying thing I kept like thinking about as I was playing Max Altitude is... I, I was a big fan of Guitar Hero TV, Guitar Hero Live, uh, and for those of you who didn't play it, GHTV, um, you could play two separate channels at all times right channel one was for like heavier music and like rock metal blah, 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 blah. and then channel two was for everything else pop indie country dubstep whatever whatever else they had on guitar hero tv and one thing i was thinking throughout this playthrough of the entire set list was this feels like a big ghtv channel two set list like you could put this entire set list in GHTV channel two, and it would like make sense in there. Like that's that's what that's how I felt the entire time playing through it. I was kind of mentally, you know, shaping it that way in my head. And this song is one that I know if GHTV was still up and running, they would have included this song. It just it just fits the vibe so well, and it's a really big bop. I love this song. Instant Spotify material. Hold on, I'm looking for my notes about it. Because I'm prepared. Uh, yeah, I, ba I basically said everything I needed to say <laughs> with my notes there. Uh, but yeah, New Machines. You're going to love that one. If you like like indie like alt music that's like catchy. Oh, 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 buddy. New Machines is the song for you. That's my number two pick. Why did I hit stop recording? I'm such an idiot. All right. What's... Oh. One day I wish you my number one pick for Max Altitude is a little song called How You've Grown by Moore Avenue Underground. Torx charted this one. I remember hearing this song and thinking that it was going to be my number one. I don't know what it was. It's just like your typical like grungy song, but the vocals really like really scratch some itches in my brain. I don't know what it was, but I love the vibe of it. Um so good uh, uh, it makes me make that sound because it makes me that happy uh, uh, uh. i don't know what that was that might have been gas but yeah total spotify material very easy chart it's not like you're not gonna have a tough time with it or anything it's got a fun 
fun, not difficult solo. It's just... Ugh. I judged, like, none of these songs on gameplay, but just how they sound. <laughs> there were definitely... There were some tough songs in this pack overall, and some fun guitar charts. Um, but I always find myself... Uh, doing my top 10 based on how much I like them musically. That's I think that's because that's the reason I primarily play rhythm games is to enjoy and discover new music. And this one really... How it's grown on me. <laughs> I don't know. How You've Grown by More Avenue Underground is my number one recommendation from this pack. If you like grungy vocals and just... Yeah. it's <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. It's good. It's good. Go play it. Right now. All right, boys and girls, that'll do it for my max altitude top 10. It was, I'm going to be honest with you here. It was really hard to come up or to whittle it down to 10 songs because my original like unedited list of stuff I wanted to include was like 25 or 30 songs. Like it was hard. And plus there's just so much good stuff in the set list. There was Red Hot Chili Peppers, 311, The Strokes, uh, so much stuff. Paramore. Paramore's on my top 10, but so many bands that I really like, basically. And uh, there was some other... Now, I'm not saying the whole thing was good. There was some, like, noise rock in there that didn't vibe with me, and some other some other off-the-wall stuff that... I mean, just because I didn't like it doesn't mean it shouldn't be included, but I'm just saying there's something for everybody in here. That's what I'm trying to say. So, I hope you guys enjoyed my top 10 max altitude songs uh my next mission is the march csc pack the female fronted bands female artists pack so look forward to that uh tell me what your favorite songs were in max altitude if you haven't played through the pack yet or if you have i mean uh i'll leave a link to the pack in the description as well if you want to download it it's an entire set list it's over 100 songs and it's just focused on like alt rock indie rock uh noise rock like i said um grungy stuff uh just just stuff on the alternative side of things right so like i was saying during my new machines review uh it's ghtv channel 2 music and that's cool with me so uh anyway thank you guys for watching i appreciate you hope to see you over on twitch twitch.tv slash dirt you'll usually see me playing clone hero rock band or rocksmith so that's your thing on a request a song stop on by uh but thank you for watching i've said that about a million times at this point i don't know be good to yourselves be good to each other i love you all the freaking bunch and hope we can see each other again soon have an awesome day or night everybody and go play max altitude for me all right